Good morning, folks. We've got an unusual journey across some topics today, but we'll wind up somewhere familiar to veteran observers. You're looking at the incoming active region top left. Let's begin there over at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on the sun were mostly quiet, but not without features of note. The northern coronal hole has an excellent chance of amplifying the solar wind in a few days, and while it's nothing major at the moment, the X-ray flux is on the rise as well. It's due to that incoming active region. In 131 angstroms, we see the highest energy UV and the X-ray light. The active region is still small at this early stage in the sunspot cycle 25. Right now, the solar wind is variable, but within calm range. Plasma speed is in the 350 kilometers per second area, and that's about as quiet of a solar wind as we can want without it being too quiet. Folks, we'll continue with the sun in our first story here about iris spotting nanojets. They say that these are likely extending their energetic influence far higher than their visible presentation, helping to heat the corona. And no part of mainstream or plasma physics can argue with that possibility, but we have also been watching nanojets on their slider since 2013. Many of you remember its launch and delivery of the first images of the sunspot heartbeat as well. Legit science, but the math on coronal heating is all that's new. We've been seeing these kinds of images for a while. Up next, I missed this one from earlier this summer because this is not a journal I find useful to check very often or ever, but a blind squirrel strolls into a peanut factory on this one, at least in terms of what it does for our imaginations. Did space weather take out the Titanic? Navigational issues, communication trouble, sounds like space weather to me. To the best of their knowledge, they weren't off course, but do we really know? We know that other ships did get comms from the Titanic, and icebergs are just hard to see. The Carpathia did report aurora at lower latitude than usual, but one would think those would have illuminated the icebergs a bit. Whether there lacks even one shred of legitimacy to this study or it's the 100% truth, we really have no idea, but it sure makes for a fun mental exercise. And speaking of aurora, Quick point of interest at Comet 67P, it's got its own northern lights. The electrical interaction of comets with the solar wind is a key small-scale item in astro and plasma physics of solar system objects, and it likely speaks to the intrinsic magnetism of the comet. Up next, a quick mention of a new website that might be useful to a lot of you when it comes to censorship. It's brand new, still expanding, and at some point in that expansion, the climate game will have to arise. One hopes they give the middle ground, the we can have both side, proper treatment. And speaking of proper treatment, our community might not like Michael Moore's resume, but Planet of the Humans is epic. It's got a few updates since the initial release, including a walk back from one of the film's key villains. Essentially, he's flipped on the global warming folks, but he's done so sideways. Solar energy, wind energy, inefficient, and largely reliant on coal and fossil fuels due to their intermittency and storage capacity failures. Biomass plants, the supposed renewable saviors are tearing down forests faster than anything since the last solar micronova. Fossil fuels can be made in minutes, not millions of years, and the process is ongoing at the feet of wildfires every day, seeping into the ground. I watched two debunkings of the movie yesterday, and neither deserves the name. They debunk nothing, and in one of them, two guys couldn't figure out that they made half the film's points for them while they bowed at Elon Musk's toenails. There is a problem, though. This is a depopulation-heavy film. Bill Gates would love it. But for the observers, they just use incomplete climate science paired with a truthful reporting on the fraud that is renewable energy, give up on humans ever being efficient, and then begin down a road of horrible consequences. But I do recommend you watch it, if you are an adult. Few hard points in there. Moving the heck on to our top story, the galactic wind cone revealing not only large-scale structure of a galactic system, but implying structure within. The galaxy is oriented more or less edge-on, flat, side-to-side -side in this image, with the X pattern around it being the edges of the plasma wind cone. This is actually just the interior of the Z-pinch, with a central modulation point in the center, and they are able to distinguish even the fine edges of the wind cone and measure its velocity. At 500 kilometers per second, it's more than fast enough to escape the galaxy, which is kind of obvious as we look at the picture, but also, that's way more than fast enough to suggest that the disk of the interior galaxy, 
where the wind comes from, is indeed having enough energy within it to require the Parker plasma instability as it spins. The large-scale magnetism is actually stronger relative with scale than most lab experiments and with the sun's heliosphere, and we know it's got the requisite energy to pull the ripple. The galactic winds are exactly like the solar wind, just a lot more dust. The current sheet ripple encounter is much more regular than crossing some imaginary galactic plane, and it is where the galactic magnetic reversal actually takes place. We are in the sheet now. All planets changing. Nearby stars activating. We continue the march of magnetic excursion here, waiting for the energy to affect the sun as well. We greatly appreciate your support. On our channel page, in the list of links below the video, and at suspiciousobservers.org, you can learn a lot more about these topics. Everything available to be known in the existence of the information age, actually. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.